A quadriplegic's dream to travel overseas is on hold because he's been refused suitable insurance. Anthony Bartel says while the TAC will pay for carers he'll require, no one's prepared to provide cover for his vital medical equipment. Kelly Curtin spoke to him. For this young man, realising his dream to travel will take a lot more than a backpack and a sense of adventure. I need this wheelchair and able to move around because I can't walk. I need ventilators because I can't breathe on my own. The seven-week trip he's planned to take around the US and Europe in June is expected to cost him around $20,000, but he'll also require up to six full-time carers. The TAC agreeing in principle to foot the bill, estimated to be around $300,000, if Anthony can find personal insurance and cover for his medical equipment. I've run about 15 different companies. And they've all said the most they'll cover is up to $5,000 worth of equipment, and my equipment's worth about 200000 Hit by a car on his way home from school at the age of six, he only has the use of his head and requires a ventilator to breathe. The TAC providing 24-hour care since the accident. Now 28, Anthony recently graduated from university and wants to do the same as thousands of others his age. I just really love to see the world. Anthony is one of only five people in the country with C1 quadriplegia. Most companies denied him insurance on the basis that he was too great a risk. And legislation prevents the TAC from extending its cover outside Australia. I'm going to New York as well. And they've got a wheelchair there that um, climbs steps. I'd like to give that a go to. Kelly Kirshen, Nine News.